Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. I want to show you a chart of Ilaria Alpi. She was a journalist. Uh, she was killed in Somalia uh, by the terrorists uh, because she saw uh, the illegal traffic of weapons and also of the waste to the ocean. So, um, because some people could end up in jail or there could be some big international punishment, uh, she was just chased and killed with her cameraman. So this is very unfortunate uh, chart, but we can learn a lot from this. And I want to show you a few yogas, what they mean from us and what we can learn from these yogas. Okay, so in our tradition, we were taught that the panchanga can give us some signals to analyze chart in specific direction. And this is good examples to demonstrate how it works. So first of all, we will see that Varesha is Mercury. Now Varesha is just the planet which is showing the day on which you were born. For example, you could be born on Wednesday, then your Varesha would be Mercury. Like me, if you are born on Monday, then your Varesha will be the moon. And then you are seeing this planet in your chart and this will have a big impact on your general energy level. This is the tejas, the fire in the stomach. This nature of this element is basically of fire and it has to do with the energy we have. And this translates also to general health level, how much fire and life we have. So when this planet is afflicted or is somehow related to water like Venus, Moon, or in the watery sign like Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, check that in your charts if you have this combination related to Vara, to the watery planets. And if that is additionally afflicted with the malefics or in the bad house like 6, 8, or 12, this may cause some challenges to the health in the Dasha related to these planets. Now, we don't know a lot about her relationships, but the moon is also blocked by Mars and Rahu. So the Vara planet is here, the Mars and Rahu is blocking that Mercury. And the Titi also, the moon is intent and Mars and Rahu is also blocking it. So the Vara and Titi are blocked. Now, the Nakshatra, Lord, this is related to the Vayu element. And the Vayu is also very important for longevity and life. Because if our prana or the air is stopped, then the life is over. So any blockages to this planet are also dangerous for life. And from the tradition, we are taught to see this blockage from the seventh house. So we take seventh house as the reference point. In this case, it would be Gemini. So we have Sun in the sixth, and the Argala to the Sun would be the Mars in eighth. So the Mars is blocking the Sun. And here, the Mars and Rahu, we already said, this is the bad yoga. The Mars Rahu is normally causing some sudden negative events. And if this includes the health planets, then this can be related to health. This could show some accidents. Uh, fights and any such sudden rush uh, extreme type of um, events in life. So this is in 12 from the moon, another important point for health. Fourth from moon, 12 from moon connected, they are having impact on the health if afflicted. So here we have this Mars and Rahu before the moon also. Important point is also that the Mercury is showing the structure of the body. So often if Mercury is afflicted, like here, the Mercury is a very important planet. Similarly, the Venus, because they are in the Mahapurusha Yoga. Mahapurusha means big personality. This planet can control the direction of these charts. And this is when the Tattva planet, so Mercury, Venus, Jupiter, Mars, Saturn, if they are in Kendra, so first, fourth, seven, or 10th, and exalted or monotricona or in the own sign. So here we have Mercury in own sign in seventh, Prithvi, which is the earth element, and the Venus, which is also exalted. This is Jala, the water, exalted in the fourth. So we have two Mahapurusha Yogas. This is the very strong chart. And the Mercury here, which is showing the earth, the structure. Now this is more important because of this Mahapurusha Yoga is afflicted by that Mars and Rahu following that Mercury. And also the moon, which is showing the health, is also afflicted by the same planets. So you will see how this Graha Malika Yoga, starting from the sixth house of enemies, this is very important, is ending with that moon intent. 
That moon would be nice, but we have to see that this is a 12th Lord in the Navamsha, which is showing the demise, and this is having this uh, Drishti of Venus forming the Rudra Yoga. When moon and Venus, if they are connected, this is dangerous combination. This is the Rudra Yoga. So this Gandanta Yoga, Sun and Moon, or Mars and Venus. We will also go to this Mars and Venus in this chart. And also this Rudra Yoga, Moon, Venus, Moon, Mars, they can be very dangerous. So we have to, they are like a signals to analyze the chart farther. So if you like this video so far, please click the thumbs up. It helps me with the algorithm to make my videos more visible for others. So others also can learn uh, this beautiful uh, Gyana or knowledge from our Parampara, our tradition of Shri Chudananda. Uh, so please click the thumbs up, subscribe uh, if you like to get notified about similar videos in the future. And now let's go back to this astrobiography. So we see here that this Venus is exalted Vargotam. This is intent in Navamsha, which is giving her success and wealth. But this has Parivartana with that Jupiter in the 12th in the Navamsha. So the time of demise was Rahu, Venus, Jupiter. Now Venus is a 12th Lord, Jupiter is in the 12th house. So we know the Navamsha is properly rectified. It's Gemini, Mituna, Ascendant here. And what is important, the career life, 10th house, is related to the death, to the 12th house. And the Dasha was Rahu, Venus, Jupiter, right? So it's very, very accurate. You can see how this Vedic astrology works perfectly if we have the rectified chart. Now, the Venus here is the Atmakaraka. This is very important. Always see the Dushtana, Marana, Karakastana, and the Pachakati Sambanda. This three set of houses from the Atmakaraka. If they are badly placed, there could be suffering in this area of life. Sometimes it's quite tricky to catch. We need to have two points afflicted among the three. For example, here you will notice Atmakaraka, Venus, Exalted and Fort, very nice. But in the sixth house, we have Rahu, which is the Amatya Karaka. So this is the point for career. And the Mercury, which is another point for career, is in the fourth from Venus. So the fourth from Venus is negative house for Venus because on this Pachakadi Sambanda type or group of houses. So you need to learn also that. See in your chart which uh, houses or planets are in Dushtana 6, 8, 12 from your Atmakaraka and also which are in the Marana Karakastana. This would be very important to know where the experience of the Atma, the Anubhava may be lacking or when the real soul fulfillment can be low. In which areas this can be deprivation on this fulfillment on a deep level because the Atma is the soul we have, right? This is the planet with the highest degrees. So her career life as a journalist is easy to explain. We have this Moon and Mercury Yoga, right? It's related to the 10th house in the Rashi. Moon and Mercury gives journalists. It can also give physician. So either this or that way. In the Navamsha, we will see Moon and Mercury are in the Trikona to the Navamsha Lagna, giving her a big skill in this area. And in the Dashamsa, we have also Moon and Mercury related to the Seven Lords. So probably she was employed on the contract or a freelance basis. The Tenth Lord from the Rashi is the same Mercury in the fourth in the Dashamsa, which is showing that she is doing that of um, charity. So she was probably engaged in early age in a lot of charity type of um, organization or projects. So notice, if you have a 10th Lord from Rashi in the 4th, 8th or 12th in the Dashamsa chart, it can make you working in the spiritual projects or in the charity organization. This works quite well. You can uh, rectify also the chart based on this rule. So I want to show you how this is working with the Aruda. So from the moon, 10th from the moon is that Mercury on that yoga, moon Mercury, right? So this is showing that this is not only something she wants from her body, from her uh, structure, the mind, the Lagna, right? Tent from Lagna shows how we work. But tent from moon, what we get offered by the society. Sometimes these are in sync. This is very nice, like here. This is the same planet. So whatever she wants to do, she's also getting the offers from the society. And she can work, she can be employed uh, or somehow involved in these projects. So this moon and Mercury, this is the journalism here. Aruda Lagna is in a Leo. It will jump from Aquarius to Leo. And the Leo is loaded by the sun. So two things here. First of all, the sun is showing the government. So she was employed by the government organization. If you read on Wikipedia, sun 
government, she was employed by government and working and be uh, sustained. So second and 11 from Arun Lagna, there is this connection to this Mercury and Moon, but she was uh, working in the uh, government type of organization. And there is also Rahu. Rahu means going to another country like a spy and making the pictures. This is ninth house of travel, Rahu. What's most important, the sun, the Lord of Aruda. This is dangerous. It's in sixth house. So she can be killed by another government or people from some big organization, projects like government. And the sun is exalted in Navamsha in the 11th house of punishment, right? So the sun is showing someone who is very big. And this is in the sixth house. Uh, this is also a Pitru Karaka here, which is related to also some big authoritative figures. So, um, uh, so this is in the house of the enemy. The sixth lord of enemy is in the fourth house, aspecting the tenth house. So the enemy is looking at her work, right? What you are doing. So the sixth lord is also very powerful. It does Venus at Makaraka. And now from the Aruda, uh, six from the Aruda and A6, which is showing the manifestation and what the enemy is doing, this is connected to that Jupiter Saturn yoga, which is about the death. Jupiter Rahu is more showing uh, the murder, but in Jupiter Saturn also the attacker is killed, right? So there's this uh, difference. So this Jupiter Saturn, this has many meanings. Uh, it can mean many things. Like for example, it can mean also that your work will outlive you. Whatever you are doing, it can be uh, also working after you die. And this is a big beginner. So these people, this is like a Brahma Yoga may start something new. Uh, which will be sustained for a long time. But in this yoga, it has to do with the Lagnesha and with Pakesha, right? Pakesha is the dispositor of Lagna Lord. So the Lagna Lord, the Ascendant Lord is the Jupiter, because this is Sagittarius Lagna. This is in a Capricorn sign. And the Saturn is loading Capricorn. So Saturn is controlling the health. It's, contro it's, it's called Pakesha. So we have Lagnesha, which is the Ascendant Lord, and the Pakesha, which is dispositor of Ascendant Lord, the Saturn. They are in one house. And this Jupiter is debilitated and is in 12 in the Navamsha. So this is related to the death. And this is also what is most important related to this six from the Arun Lagna and A6. So this may show that this is caused by the enemies. And third from the Arud Lagna, which is showing the circumstances of the mice, we have Rahu and Sun and Ketu aspecting. So Sun and Rahu is very negative. And uh, normally for shots, for being killed with the, with the gun, the Sun uh, is the prime significator for that. And the Sun Rahu is then very negative. And also what is very important, you can say, okay, but the Jupiter and the Venus in 12th house in Navamsha should show some very beneficial demise. But this Jupiter is between Sun and Rahu again. So the same planets, which is causing the third from the Arud Lagna, the Sun and Rahu, which is showing this negative part of demise, this is snatching this Jupiter, right? This is making this... Kartari and the Sun and Rahu are exalted in Navamsha, so they are very strong. So exalted planets, if negative, means that the enemy is very strong, right? So you have to see if these strong planets are on your side or are working against you. So last two things, a little bit about the Shamsa. Uh, we see that it has to reflect the dangerous circumstances of her work also in the Shamsa. We have here the Venus and Mars in the sixth house. So the Gandanta Yoga, Venus and Mars, this is quite dangerous. Also the Lagna Lord, Jupiter, is again Jupiter. The Saturn is aspecting that Jupiter even. So we have again this Jupiter-Saturn Yoga of this affliction. Now we know it is related to health. We did that analysis in Rashi. So now in the Dashamsa we see it's a Lagna Lord. So it has to do with your body. It, it can really personally affect you. And this, this whole Dashamsa is afflicted because of this Gandanta Venus Mars Yoga. And this is in sixth house, so it can come from uh, directly from your work, right? We have this Journalism Yoga, Moon and Mercury. Now the Dasha, Narayana Dasha was of Capricorn at the time of demise. So we see that exactly at that Yoga of Jupiter and Saturn. 
Uh, the yoga was Rahu, Venus, Jupiter. Now Venus is also 6th and 11th from the Sun, which is very dangerous here, and 7th uh, from the Moon, which is the Badaka to uh, health, especially in the Antardasha level. From the Moon, this Venus is in the 2nd and 7th, so it's Maraka, so it's very dangerous period uh, on this Antardasha level. And she was also the 32 year of age, so this was a Jupiter and in Naisargika Dasha, so also Jupiter Venus. So very much connected to this uh, Jupiter Venus, which was related to the 12th house in the Navamsha. So I hope we have learned something here with the chart rules, uh, which are working perfectly. Uh, therefore, I wanted to show you this chart uh, so we can learn how the Graha Malika Yoga works, how is the uh, Venus and Moon, the Rudra Yoga, how the Gandanta Yogas like Venus, Mars and the Dashamsa is afflicting the uh, chart and also about the importance of the 12th house uh, in the Navamsha. Okay guys, so I hope you have learned something from this uh, analysis of Ilaria Alpi. Uh, these yogas may be present in your chart. Let me know in the comments how they are working for you. Uh, or if you have any comments, I'm always eager to read your comments. Please don't forget to click the thumbs up, subscribe for more and see you in the next one.